Hello you guys! Welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been so long since I have posted a video. I have been really busy this summer. Um, just a lot going on with my me personally and like my home life and traveling and yeah it's just been crazy busy so I finally got to sit down today and play around with some new makeup and actually get a video going <laughs> um, but yeah I today's video the reason why I've been like really 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 wanting to play around with my makeup is the number one da, 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 the Jaclyn Hill vault collection help me out here camera it is so beautiful you guys it is just and so excited to finally have this um, it comes with four different palettes voila like this just makes my life <laughs> no it really doesn't but it makes me super super happy um there is dark magic armed and gorgeous bling bling boss and ring the alarm and yeah like they are just absolutely beautiful beautiful shades um i'm thinking that i will sit down and do like a separate video of swatches for these because oh wow it's it truly is gorgeous like this is ring the alarm it's that's just one of like I don't want to go through and like bore you guys with all of them but yeah if you would be interested in seeing like a swatch video I can definitely do that um but like say so I'm not gonna bore you you know I keep opening them <laughs> and here is bling boss like these shades what I like it, they're just unreal but what I love about this palette is that they put mirrors in it like her first palette did not have a mirror on it which was kind of annoying but I know it costs extra money and she, you know she did what she had to this one is armed and gorgeous like this one here oh, look at that like the white but yeah, like these are all of the colors that she wanted to use in her first palette. But you know, you can only do so many and she had to put them in what's called like the Morphe Vault. And that's why it's called the Vault. And this one, last but not least, is Dark Magic, which I really, really want to do another video on. It is like this blue. I just, yeah, really would love to use that. But yeah, um, like I said, if you would be interested in seeing a swatch video, I can absolutely do that. But it would probably take a long, like a while, so that could be something separate. Um, but yeah, let's, you know, you're here to see how I got this look, hopefully. <laughs> so if you want to stay tuned, I am using the... I like totally forgot which one I even used today. Wow. Pretty sure it's Ring the Alarm that I used. Yes. Ring the Alarm palette. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's just get to it. I won't waste any more of your time with my blabbering because I could see it here all day on the Chatty Kathy. So, if you want to see how I got this look, then stay tuned. Okay, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do, as usual, is prime my eyes with my Milani eyeshadow primer. I've been using concealer the last little bit um, and putting some of my... Oh my gosh, it's been so long, all my words and vocabulary are shot. I'm using some... Uh, concealer and setting powder but I found that it was really drying out my eyes so I'm just not gonna go that route and stick with my good old trusty Milani okay so 
As I mentioned before, I'm using my Jaclyn Hill. So the first color, I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M441. When I was in Nashville, I picked up some Morphe brushes at the Ulta. And so yes, this is the Ring the Alarm, and I'm going to start by using the color Rush for my transition shade. And just go in to my crease. Guess I need to zoom you guys in. Wow! There we go. going to pick up the color secret and I'm going to place that in the outer and inner corner of my eye just using a crease blending brush I'm going to use it to place the product not actually blend Going to take a, a small blending brush. Whoops! So this is another Morphe brush that I picked up that I'm really, really loving. It's the M507, and it's just a small pointed blending brush, and I love it because it just gets like right into these small areas, like your inner corner likes to buff it out very nicely. Start to bring that whatever's left on my brush. I'm gonna bring those inner and outer corners together just in my crease but keeping my lid nice and product free. that's done now I'm gonna go in with boom and I'm going to place that um, right in the center of my eyelid where I don't have any product and first I'm going to just take a little bit of setting spray uh, my Mac fix plus and spray it onto my brush just so more pigment comes out into the color so this is a technique that I just love using because it really like with shimmery like shades and stuff it really just makes them pop um, if you don't have a setting spray then get your butt to the store and get one no <laughs> I'm joking if you have like eye drops as well like that's a really good supplement to use but um, I mean I think pretty much anyone that's into makeup would have a setting spray but yeah anyone would work and I'm just gonna spray that and again, that is the MAC Fix It Plus. Fix It. Fix Plus, geez. Yeah, Fix It. Oh my. <gasps> that is beautiful. You guys. very very happy with this color oh it's so pretty the perfect like orange brown copper like I, I don't even know how to explain it. it it's just beautiful in love in love no other words So I'm uh, going to go back in with my tiny Morphe M507 and just pick up that um, secret color again and 
just a tiny bit and gonna go back in like the inner and outer corner and just kind of buff it out so there's no harsh lines it's a, just a nice smooth transition brush and I want to take a little bit of this gorgeous shade up here alert a little bit and I'm gonna go right over top of the secret the dark brown just very lightly dust over that And then just to finish that up, I'm just going to take, again, the same brush because it's so small and it's just perfect. Um, I'm just going to pick up the first color that I went, went in with, the Rush, the transition shade, and just very, very lightly just go over what I just did. But again, just a very small amount of product and very lightly. I'm pretty happy with that. Except I do really want to darken up that outer corner a little bit. Um, just once you get like blending, it's all about building up. Like I go in with a very small amount of product and I like to build because I would much rather do that than going in with a ton of product. So it's so much easier to add than take away. And I'm sure I've said that before. But yeah, so again, just going in with Secret with a pencil brush. This is Sigma E30 and just picking that up again and just darkening that outer corner. So now I'm just going to take makeup cloth and just wipe off any fallout that I've had. And then I'm also just going to use the point and just kind of cut that to make my wing. So this is why I really enjoy doing my eyes first because I can do that and not worry about the rest of my face. So going in with my trusty Kat Von D liner, which I believe I think I need more of already. Trooper. They are for sure sisters today. These eyes of mine. Alright. I'm just going to step away from them and stop playing with them because the more I do, I think I'm just screwing them up. Alright. Now for the face. Woo! Too faced hangover. Put around my face. Whoop. Right up in the nostril. So I like to always mention before even before even um, putting on foundation or anything. You want to make sure that your face is clean so I always recommend doing your makeup like right after your shower or if like you have to do it a few hours later wash your face exfoliate if you can just get all the dead skin off because then you're just gonna have a smooth beautiful canvas <laughs> 
as I like to say. So yesterday I actually tried out, I am freezing. This vent above me, like my AC is like pouring right down on me. I know that's like a horrible thing to complain about because some people don't have central air. I've been one of those people in my life. It's so cold, it's like the Antarctic. Hold on, I'm gonna just shut this. Better. So, yeah, I'm like 5'3", five, 5'3 three, five, three and a half, so it's like, eh, struggles. Um, here's my ADD moment. Um, I recently just used this yesterday for the first time. I picked it up a while ago. I felt, I think I bought this in England, and I don't even know if it was like available here yet. I haven't even looked to see even if it is. But anyways, it's the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. And I was very like pleasantly surprised. Like I had no issues yesterday with this foundation. Like I was out all day grocery shopping with my son and it was hot. Like in my one car, the AC is not working. And so, like my face was melting. And then I came home, cooled down, and then I went to my personal training. And when I got home, so like sweating, it actually held up so well. Like at the end of the night when I was t like washing my face, I couldn't believe that it hadn't really smudged all that much or moved. But this is in the shade 21 Nude Beige. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, so if you are in the market, for a new foundation like drugstore I totally recommend this so I'm just gonna take I used way too much yesterday I'm just gonna do one and a half pumps and see where that gets me because yeah I used way too much and ended up like wasting a bunch of product yesterday and then I'm just going to because this doesn't give me that like dewy look that I love so much so I'm just gonna go in with my cover effects custom enhancement drops and just put a couple drops of that in there to give it that summer glow and just mix that on the back of my hand yeah like a little bit of this foundation goes a long way that was something I noticed yesterday is how it Oh my god, like I barely have any product on my beauty blender and this is just going like it gives you so much product like you really like honestly that one and a half pumps was all like probably too much like I probably only needed one pump if not half a pump because it really like I don't know it just this product it it's just really full coverage but like what I love is that not just is it full coverage but it's like holy crap like there's so much like it just so it'll last you a long time I'll tell you that <laughs> we're in it for the long haul with this foundation so good thing it's good I'm just gonna take the rest of products. So just a tiny little bit on the back of my hand, and I'm just gonna bring this down on my neck. Okay. Go with my concealer. Using the Tarte Shape Tape and Light. So then I'm just going to because I don't want my face to be like really white. I'm just gonna mix this with my medium Maybelline fit me concealer as well oh yeah I'm still on the hunt if anybody knows what kind of lens to use I really would appreciate it I have a Canon T6i Rebel anything compatible with that would be awesome Okay, so I'm just going to set my face with some setting powder. And I'm going to use 
my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish in number two. Get it open. Ugh. I love this stuff. I know I've raved about it so many times, so, well, in my last two videos. And now onto my browns. Let's zoom in a little bit more for this. So I'm just using my Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown. Brushing them out. Just gonna take a small edge brush and just kind of round out. I usually just put a little bit of concealer on this brush and just carve out my brow to however I like it. And it's usually just like if it's too like square at the front. So I'm just going to finish the bottom of my eyes now. So going to use my trusty little pencil brush and start by picking up Secret again and just running that along the outer, sorry, outer, honor. Honor? Honor! That's a new word apparently! <gasps> Underneath my eye. Then I'm just going to take that small blending brush again, the Morphe M507, and I'm just going to pick up Alert, small amount, and then blend that underneath my eye. Just kind of smoke it out. And I'm just going to take a small amount of rush and do the same thing. Normally I've stopped like putting liner on my waterline like I used to do a full circle I would do underneath and above and it's funny because like I rarely ever do it anymore so now when I do it like my eyes water so much but um, instead of a black I've recently really loved using like a white or a like really light color because it just makes your eyes pop and really opens up your eye so I picked up these love these they're like the NYX um, faux whites I think they're called I think that's what they're all called let me double check yeah so I've gotten mint cream baby powder which is beautiful and this vanilla and it's just a really that's what it looks like and it's uh i just find it's really nice to plop because it like a white or like a nude is just really going to open up that eye if you put black on it's going to make your eyes appear smaller whereas a lighter color will make them appear larger and i i used to like really not like my big eyes and now i'm like loving them all right 
Ugh. Feels weird to do that. <laughs> and what am I gonna do? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna use a highlight. Okay, so I'm just not gonna use that palette because there is no highlighting shade in that. I'm gonna actually use my Becca Opal. Like, look how cute this is. I just picked up like a little mini version because like I always stick with my champagne pop. So I just like wanted something like different and little to use and it's so cute. Um, so I'm just gonna pop this right in the inner corner because again like this will really open up the eye and make it appear larger. So for mascara, I'm just going to curl my lashes and use my telescopic carbon black. I think I need a new one of these two eyelash curlers. This one does not seem to think it works, but I don't know. It's not... Uh, a lot more loose than what it used to be. I don't know if you noticed, but I kind of like wiggle and then I do a few pumps and it makes, I find that it makes my lashes curl better. Oh, okay, good. Really thought we were in trouble there. Okay. Zoom back out. I'm just going to contour blush and highlight and then we're done. <sighs> Alright, so I'm just going to contour with a couple different bronzers. To get a more precise contour, I'm going to use my next to nothing MAC powder pressed bronzer. This is in the shade Dark. And I'm just going to take my Morphe M437 and just sculpt out my contour. Okay, so then after that I'm just going to take a bigger, fluffier brush and use my Physician's Formula. Butter bronzer. This is sun kissed. I love the smell of this stuff. It smells so good. And this is, I'm just going to use this to give myself more of a bronze sun kissed look. And then I'm going to bring this down onto my neck to make sure that they're the same color. for blush I picked up a Milani baked blush in luminoso and I'm loving it like you only need a tiny tiny bit because it um, the shade is really like pigmented so I'm just gonna get my blush brush Morphe B4 and like I said just pick up a tiny bit and then top off any excess and place it on like the apples and I drag it out. And to make sure there's no harsh lines or make sure it's all blended I just pick up my damp beauty blender with nothing on it 
and I usually just go over that blush. And okay, so for some highlight, a trusty, again using trusty word, Becca Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. Pick up my highlighting brush and just highlight everywhere because we all love a good highlight, especially in the summer. Well, at least I do. I really love that highlighted look. Or glowy look, I should say. Moving on to lips. I am hooked, absolutely hooked on the uh, lip liner I just picked up. Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil and it's in the shade Liar. And I don't know, I'm just really, really loving this, this lip liner right now. Alright you guys, I'm done! Oh, studying spray. Also, I'm not going to use this, I'm going to use a dewy one, but I did get the Morphe setting mist when I was in Nashville. Really, really, really love it. I just dropped it. <laughs> but I'm going to use the dewy finish NYX setting spray today. We're done. So here is the look. So yeah, this is the finished look. Get a little close up. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, sorry that I have not posted more. Um, I've just been really crazy busy, as I mentioned in the beginning. Um, but yeah, if you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I truly would absolutely appreciate it. And yeah, let me know what other looks you guys want to see. I'm thinking that next I might do, um, because I'm always doing a nude lip, I might do something a little bit different and do like a brighter lip with like a less dramatic eye because I did recently pick up a another lip kit because <laughs> I'm addicted to them and it is of a red so I've been wanting to try that out but yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed I'm going to shoot off here because I'm meeting a girlfriend for coffee this afternoon and I have been working really hard on my fitness and nutrition so I have got to pre-make a salad for my dinner tonight so I don't mess up at the mall and end up getting like bad food. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will see you next time.